With home prices falling for the fourth consecutive month, one in 12 mortgages originated this year are underwater. According to a new report from Black Knight, of all homes purchased with a mortgage in 2022, 8% are now at least marginally underwater and nearly 40% have less than 10% equity stake in their homes. Things look even bleaker for folks with government-backed mortgages. More than 25% of 2022 FHA VA purchase mortgage holders are now in a negative equity with 80% having less than 10% equity. Now, I know these numbers sound alarming, but it's important to put this data in a historical perspective to determine just how bad things are. My name is Vitaly, and as always, if you're watching this video, I appreciate your time. Please take three seconds to like, subscribe, and share your thoughts in the comments. Let's dive into today's topic. If you are someone who observes your news about the housing market through social media channels like YouTube, TikTok, or Instagram, you have probably already heard the news about how many mortgages are now underwater. Also, you're probably someone who wasn't sure what to make of the data as those who covered the news on social media sent a perplexing message. Some said that the the numbers were good and there's nothing to worry about and therefore call your agent and buy another house. At the same time, others argued that the numbers were terrible and that the long-awaited crash is now finally here. If you've been watching our stuff, you know that we never pursue a narrative when we try to interpret the latest reports on the housing market. In this video, I'm going to give you a clear understanding of what these numbers mean and provide you with an objective analysis of the current state of homeowner equity. To begin, let's take a look at the numbers again. A new report from Black Knight shows that 8% of all homes purchased with a mortgage this year, particularly those who purchased their homes between May and July, are now underwater, meaning that their value is lower than what they owe on their mortgage. In other words, these homeowners have negative equity in their homes and could potentially find themselves in a serious financial trouble if real estate values continue to decline. But how bad will it get if the values continue to decline? For starters, the report also showed that nearly 40% of homeowners who purchased this year at the peak of the markets have less than 10% equity stake in their homes. These homeowners are particularly vulnerable as even a small drop in property values could cause them to slide into a negative equity. As I mentioned earlier, the situation is more severe for those with government-backed mortgages such as FHA and VA loans. 25% of these folks are already underwater and more than 80% have less than 10% equity. Keep in mind, these are homeowners who purchased this year. The early payment default rate, which captures mortgages that have become delinquent within six months of origination, rose among FHA loans to reach its highest level since 2009. You might ask, how come FHA and VA loans are taking a greater hit? The answer is simple. FHA and VA loans have lower credit score requirements, meaning more people with lower income can qualify for them. Lower income borrowers tend to purchase homes in areas that are more vulnerable to market shifts. Therefore, even a small drop in real estate value can cost these folks to slide into negative equity. Also, these mortgages generally require smaller down payments, sometimes as low as 3%, leaving homeowners with little equity to observe any future losses. Speaking of equity, in my previous video, I talked about how homeowners of today saw a collective equity increase of $3.6 trillion annually in the second quarter of 2022, a gain of 27.8% year over year. However, in the third quarter of this year, a big chunk of that equity gain was lost. Homeowners collectively lost $1.3 trillion of their equity during the third quarter of 2022. According to Ben Grabowski, president of Black Knight's data and analytics division, these declines represent the largest quarterly drop in dollar value and the biggest fall off on a percentage basis since 2009. Now, make no mistake, despite this large drop, most folks still have healthy amount of equity. In fact, in the third quarter of 2022, homeowner equity was higher by 15.8% or $2.2 trillion compared to the third quarter of 2021. Now, let's zoom out a little bit in terms of time frame and look at things from a different perspective. As the saying goes, sometimes you have to take a big step back to see the full picture. Let's look at a recent article issued by Redfin titled, Just 3 in 100 Pandemic Home Buyers Would Fall Underwater With Next Year's Projected 4% Home Value Decline. In other words, according to the article, just 3.4% of US homeowners who bought in the last two years would be underwater on their mortgage if home values were to fall 4% by the end of 2023, putting folks who bought in cities like Sacramento and Phoenix at a higher risk of falling underwater while Florida homeowners at a lower risk. According to Redfin analysis, 1.6% of homeowners would be underwater if prices remain unchanged. At a 4% drop, it's 3.4%, while at a 8% decline, the share is 6.3% of homeowners. A 12% decline in values would put 10.3% of Americans owing more than their home is worth. These hypothetical situations give us perspective on how bad things could get if home values decline. Today's negative equity remains far below historical averages. Those who bought recently are most affected, while those who purchased 12 months ago face little to no risk. In fact, Black Knight found that only 3% of homes mortgaged in 2021 have less than 10% equity, way lower compared to those who bought this year, which is 40% of 
happen. This is not to say that there isn't a cause for concern. However, today is nothing like the Great Recession when 11.3 million mortgages or 24% were underwater at the end of 2009. I want to clarify that today's numbers do not signal an imminent crash. The housing market is cyclical and it will rebound at some point. However, these figures should be a cause for concern among homeowners who purchased this year with little or no equity in their homes. It's important to remember that house prices don't always move in one direction. They can go up and down over time, so never purchase a home without being prepared for all possible outcomes. And if you are already underwater, stay put and wait until the market comes back before attempting to sell your property. That's it for today's video. Thank you so much for tuning in. Merry Christmas to you all and happy holidays.